In this video we'll be looking at inserting a reference list or bibliography into our document. First thing we need to make sure is that the References tab has been selected and that the style is set as APA 6th edition. Then we want to place our cursor at the end of our document. I'm just going to press Control Enter to enter a new page and our reference list or bibliography should be on a new page at the end of our document. The first thing we need to ask ourselves is what format will our in-text citations take? Let's just have a look at our managed sources. Essentially I've been adding new sources in here as I've been reading and researching for my particular document. Now if I was going to insert a bibliography which is a list of all the sources you've consulted for background reading, I would want all the items in this current list to be included in my bibliography at the end here. However, if I was being asked to provide a reference list, which is a list of all the sources I have actually referred to or cited in the work, I would only be interested in including the items which show as a cited source, but I'd also need to make sure that I was including any citations which I have converted to static text. Now in this particular instance I've been asked to provide a reference list so I only need a list of all the sources I've actually referred to or cited and provided an in-text citation in the work. So I want to make sure that all the items with a tick are included in my current list but I actually need to get rid of the items that don't have the tick except for examples where I know I have included an in-text citation but I have converted it to static text in which case it doesn't actually show up with this tick so I know I've, I've cited Hand Hygiene Australia so I'll make sure I leave that one there so I just need to remove the others I've also included Brocky but I've converted it to static text In fact, I also need Dryden. So when I'm happy with what is in my current list and that I'm sure that all of these items are represented by an in-text citation somewhere within my document, I'm ready to go with my reference list. You'll notice that removing things from the current list doesn't actually remove it from the master list, so if you change your mind and add a citation later, you can always um, copy them back into the, into the current list. The other thing you might also want to do is just check that the preview information for each of your sources looks okay, particularly checking that against a good APA referencing guide or style guide and edit any information if you need to. You might need to make a note of any items that you feel that you're going to need to edit manually. For example, this one here, it's a television broadcast and I need to make some significant changes to this one. But I can only do that once it's in the reference list. So when I'm happy with my current list, I can just close the Manage Sources and then I go to Bibliography. I'm going to choose the built-in works cited list. So that adds my works cited um, reference list here. I could change the title from works cited to reference list. I'll make any sort of changes like that making sure that our reference list is in alphabetical order by author or by title where the author is not available. In the next video we're going to look at editing the reference list in more detail. 
because there will be changes that you might need to make to this um, reference list and there are certain tips you might need to know about going about that.